Hey guys, what's up? Bioshemples here and welcome to episode 19 of our Pokemon Sun Let's Play. If you guys are psyched for today's episode, please click that like button down below for me. All your support is greatly appreciated. Um, in the last episode, if you guys haven't checked it out, go back, pause this video, go back, check it out and see what went down. Um, I'm not going to spoil it for you guys this episode, so if you want to know what happened, you're going to have to go back and check it out. Um... Before we dive into what we're going to be doing today, in today's episode, or in this episode, I shouldn't really say today, because sometimes I release two episodes a day of Pokemon Sun, and that doesn't, that doesn't work out when I say it that way. But um, let's run, have a quick rundown of the team. So out in front we got Ivy, our Saladin, who is the newest member of, of the team. Uh, we're rocking out with Ember, Sweet Scent, Dragon Rage, which is really good at this moment of time, because this thing is booty. <laughs> Dragon Rage and Smog. Uh, we're rocking out with the Fiery MZ. To give us that fire type Z move, which you know something is awesome looking. It is awesome looking. It is absolutely fantastic. We finally used the Z move there. Actually, that's the one thing it was spoiled. We did use the Z move in the last episode and it looked amazing. Um, after the Ivy, we have our Brown Beauty, our Mud Bray. Uh, uh, Holding the Soft Sound to power up that Bulldoze and that Mud Slap. Also rocking out with Double Kick and Stomp. After that, we got Dartrix, our Archer. Oh, Archer, our Dartrix. Oh my god, I'm butchering that. Utterly butchering that. But uh, he's rocking out with a uh, tackle, razor leaf, astonish, and peck. Hold on the sharp beak to power up that peckaroo of his. Uh, giant Ninja, who likes to not off a lot. And actually, let's go back up here. Bold, strong willed, uh, wood bray, and uh, a, ser a serious salad. My god, am I butchering up this team recap? <laughs> uh, after that, we got a. Uh, Wolf found our rock rough, rocking out with the hard stone to power up that rock tomb. Because Rock Tomb is better than Rock Throw. Uh, but also carrying Sand Attack, Bite, and Howl. He's a lax Rock Ruff with uh, good endurance. He's just, he's just a good run for days. After that, we got our Charger Bug, who's pretty cool. I love my, my Charger Bug. Uh, rocking out with Spark, Bug Bite, Acrobatics, and Bite. Holding the Amber Coin to give us that money, 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 you know? Uh, lonely Nature, who likes to relax because he, he, he just likes being by himself. And uh, last but not least, we have Prey. Pray, 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 pray. We have pray our wishy washy holding the quick claw because hey, you are, this thing is slow, really slow. Uh, holding up, rocking out with Skull, Faint Attack, Brine, and Aqua Ring. Tim in nature with a sturdy body, which for me is the biggest, biggest sort of nonsense I've ever heard. Like, this thing does not look like it's got a sturdy body, but he is timid looking, so you know, it's half and half. You know, you know it's half and half. So, um, before, what we did in the last episode, right? At the end of it, we were kind of told about the Pokemon, Pokemon, the Poke Pelago, and we we've heard mention this festival plaza a few times. Now, normally I've been saying I'm just going to gloss over this; it doesn't really matter to me. But since that was the let's play, you know, I figured, look, you know, something. Let's go have a quick look at what you know what this really is. So, um, let's open up what festival, what the festival plaza is first before we actually dive into what we're going to be doing with the rest of this episode. Uh, what is this? This is new. Who's this guy? He looks like he looks like a sour puss, if you ask me. This is new now to me, you guys. So I don't know what's going to happen, but um, I promise this. One, I'm hopefully this won't take long. I was going to promise it, but like, wait a minute, this could take a while. But no, hopefully it won't. So the Sophilus. Welcome to Festival Plaza. I'm so I I I don't know how to pronounce this, game, this guy's name. I'm Sophilus. Looks like a spoiled brat, if you ask me, doesn't he? He does. What what is this place? This is the secret place where you can come to play using communication features. We're holding a festival where trainers can interact right now. We need someone to welcome those who have come here to play. You kind of seem like someone who would play a lot using communication features. There's something you can do for me. Help me liven up this festival. Okay. Alright, thanks. Well, there's one person. Okay, so you got to help me out right away. Someone has come to play, right? Go have a chat with them. Alright, let's just do this. Hola. Hola. I come here because I heard that a festival is going on and many trainers are here. You're you're the host, aren't you? Do you want do you know what to do when you see visitors? I'll have a chat. That's exactly what I expect from you. Please take this as a token of my thanks. 2FC. I don't know what that is. It must be some sort of currency. Please speak to visitors. I hope you'll boost the mood of the festival. Tell me, tell me. Okay, let's have a quick chat with this guy. You crushed it! If you respond to the request of someone who has come to play, they'll give you festival coins as a token of their appreciation. 
basketball coins are sometimes called FC, so try to remember that. You can use FC at the facilities in Festival Plaza. All right, I better tell you about the facilities in this Festival Plaza. All right, let's do it. At a lottery shop, you can get a most excellent prize if you win. I asked him what me the lotto. We all know what that is in Pokemon. It's where I think it must be the trainer ID. I, I know we had that earlier, but it must be the same thing again. Uh, but it might be a little bit more elaborate. At a frozen castle, your Pokemon can train where it plays. Oh, so that's where we can go. Because you know the way to change the daycare center up a bit. So that must be that. So you can put the Pokemon in there and it actually levels up. Sweet. At a haunted house, you can get items if your Pokemon reaches the goal. Alright. At a die house, they can change the colour of your fashion items. Nice, okay. There are still a bunch of other facilities, so you can look forward to those. More people. More people. Once again, people have come to play. Respond to their request and you get festival coins. Can I go around you? No, I can't. Alright, I'm going to have a quick chat with you just to see what, what's going on. Do you know how to find people who want to listen to their stories? Listen to the whispers? All right, we're not doing too bad there with that. So we just listen to whispers. Okay, that's a bit freaky. That's a bit odd. <laughs> that's a little bit odd. Do you know how to invite people to your festival plaza? Communicate. Awesome, thank you. So we now got six F F C, and the festival plaza went up to rank two. Interesting. Sophia is happy. Go back to the front of the castle. Play a lot using communication features to invite a lot of people. People near you come via local wireless communication and people far away come via the internet. Interesting, interesting. So let's see what you got to say. You crushed it! If you get a lot of festival coins, that means you've live, livened things up by entertaining those who come here to play. So your festival plaza rank will go up. Alright, let me give you a reward as thanks for raising the rank. Oh, we got a new shop. Let's spend a new facility in this open spot. It's run by a Pokemon breeder. It's a die house, Team Red. I was hoping for something a little bit better there. Honestly, I really was hoping for something a little bit better. Okay, so this seems like um, the avenue in uh, Gen 5, doesn't it? But it's all based on online communications. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. Whenever your festival festival goes up, I'll give you a cool reward. Respond to requests and get a lot of festival coins. Oh yeah, it's like the castle of staff who will help you. Check it out later. Finally, let me tell you something important. You're... When you're in Festival Plaza, you connect to other players via local wireless communication or the internet. I'll set everything up, so give it a try. Sorry, I've got something to do right now, but Festival Plaza is in your hands. And that, is that that? And now we can use the menu. Alright, so this is how we do the communication stuff. I see. So we come to Festival Plaza. Oh, there's a ton. There's a ton. Right, right, I'm not going to do this right now, because, um, you know, we have other stuff that I need to get done. We have other stuff that you need to check out, but that was interesting. So at least we know what's going on with the Festival Plaza. So that's what that is. Awesome. Okay, uh, let's have a look at the Pokey Pelago, and after that, let's tackle, the rest of, let's tackle what we're going to do in this episode. So I think we have to fly over here, but Charizard's going to bring us there anyways. I have to say, even, oh, wait a minute, this is new. Welcome, you've come to Pokey Pelago. These uninhabited islands exist, exist solely for the delight of Pokemon. I, but I suppose I should introduce myself, eh? Haha, <laughs> how rude of me. You can call me Mon. Oh, that's a hopeless name, my god. I've definitely butchered that one as well. I'm in charge of keeping Pokey Pelago running. And you are Irish, right? Okay, then let's get things started. The Pokemon that you've deposited in your PC boxes can freely come here to Pokey Pelago to have a bit of fun whenever they want. Right now, we only have one small isle available for them to play on, but if you'd help me out, that, that won't be true for long, or for very long. So here's what you need to do first. Would you pick up the Pokey Beans that have fallen to the ground around the island? Is that all? So I just picked that. Alright, okay, that's not that difficult. Pokemon love Pokey Beans. They're delicious and nutritious. Uh, or nutritious. Me in English, lads. Doesn't really happen. Doesn't happen for me that often. And they can also sprout into pokey beanstalks, and like that one in the middle of the island. The one you just picked up is a plain bean. There are also rare pokey beans called patterned beans and even rainbow beans. I love hands on learning, don't you agree? So why don't you give the pokey beanstalk a good shake and see what happens? 
All right, okay, so we just get a little more beans. All right. Shake the beanstalk to drop some pokey beans. Pick up the pokey beans to add to your stores. Okay, so now you've got it. See, isn't it better to do by learning? You can collect pokey beans once a day or so. If no new pokey beans come tumbling down, then wait a day and try it, and then try it again. Put some of the pokey beans you collect into the pokey bean crate on the island. Or put some of them into the pokey bean crate, okay. Then they'll be handy for any hungry Pokemon wandering around the island to eat up any time. So we just put... We just, we, oh, wait a minute. Okay, I'm just trying to figure this out. We drop the pokey beans in there and the Pokemon will love them. Especially here on Isle of Beans. Leaving pokey beans in the crate here can here can even tempt wild Pokemon to come by for a gander and, and some fun. Oh yes, one more thing. The rare kinds of pokey beans will have their effects last longer. You might want to remember that fact. But as long as you fill the crate up, then you'll probably be a-okay. Don't you worry. And if you ever want to talk to me about things, no need to feel shy. Just zip right over here to, to my raft hut. What do we do? What do we do here? Okay. The raft hut. This is the raft hut. Okay. I'm a little bit confused what's going on here. Wonderful to see you again. I'm glad to welcome you to my raft hut. This has been my own private castle ever since the fateful day when I decided to turn these un uninhabited islands into a resort for Pokemon. I built this place myself and it's not too shabby, if I dare say so myself. I have everything I could need here to keep Pokey Palago up and running. So Irish, I've got a favour to ask of a promising trainer like yourself. Pokey Palago only features one small island at the moment, as you've seen. If you were to liken it to a Pokemon, it would be at level 1, babe, just hatched from its egg. So, I'd like you and your Pokemon to put some effort into developing the islands here. Developing the islands here basically means breaking ground on new islands or improving the facilities on islands you already have started on. We'll borrow the strength of the Pokemon you have in your boxes to do the work. Oh, and we need some plain beans, don't forget those. No one can work well on an empty stomach. Okay, that's it right. That's it for me right now. Uh, but come see me in my raft any time that you want some developing, want some help developing isles. I'm on here, I keep things running here at the Poké Pedagog. Okay, hold on. So these are all our Pokémon. All right. Okay. So we see a few of our mons here that we caught. Uh, right. Let's see if we can develop an isle. Uh, okay. So it'll help me. Thank you, thank you. And now that we have that settled, okay then. There are five uh, five isles total that you can develop here at Poké Pelago. Each one will require you to have a different number of Pokémon in your boxes and plain beans in your coffers. Check check what it says that you need to develop each isle in a summary, okay? Okay then. If that's all clear, you just tell me which isle you'd like to develop next. I'm afraid you haven't got enough Pokémon in your boxes for me to develop that isle. Okay, hold on. We need 15 and 30 beans. Damn. Damn, that's not happening. Um, yeah, we, 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 we don't have the mods for this. Yeah, we yeah, we just do not have the mods for that. Yeah, not happening. Not happening, I don't think. Yeah, definitely not happening. Yeah, definitely not happening. Yeah, okay. So we need to... Um, we, need, we need to catch a few more mods, it seems. But... Um, that's definitely interesting. So we there, these, there's, there's these islands that we can just go to and... Uh, you know that'll, uh, you know that'll just um, create wild Pokemon, all that kind of stuff. It's very interesting, interesting times. All right, let's kind of do what we were meant to do today and explore and finish this route and see what's going to happen. Those Wimpod always run away before I can have one, and even if you catch up to one, they still try to distract you by dropping items they've gathered, and then they run away again. That's 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 tough. I don't like that. So this must be the nurse's house or someone else. I'm afraid we've got no vacancies today, or some motel. Especially not with that room two, two doors down being rented out non-stop all this time. The boy staying here there paid up two years worth of nights when he first got here. Though he's not so free with cash now as he used to be. Seems like Team Skull doesn't pay well enough to live off of. Ah, okay, interesting. Here's a terrible guard Pokemon, but he's a terrible guard Pokemon, but my stubble is still super cute. You need to evolve your stubble, that's because Gramble, Gramble is more than adequate, um, more than adequate, uh, guard dog. So let's see what's in here. Is this somebody else? It's Gladian! <gasps> We're in Gladian's room! Ah, let's see what he's got to say. Get out. That's it. That's, he just says it's get out. 
as, as we're, we're, you know, we're just going to go through his room and just be a dickhead about it. Oh my god. Can this TV please shut up? Thank you. Is there anything here? No. No. Alright, well, at least Gladion is not homeless anymore, which is nice. Um, and we can't get in anywhere there. There's an item along here though, so let's go up here and nab this item. What is it? It's a dive ball. Alright, that's pretty sweet. Can we go back here? No, we can't. Alright. Let's see that beautiful alone in ocean. <gasps> it's so gorgeous. What? Wait a minute. Oh god, I was wondering what was going on. She was swinging at a club and I was like, Carly, a trainer, but then boom. The swing is all in the hips. I put my hips into it when I take you on. Wait, hey, oh yeah, oh yeah. Shaking them hips, you know. Shaking them hips. Alright, okay, golfer Melee would like to battle. Alright, we can be a golfer. We can be a golfer. She sends out to me out, that's fine. Um, question of the day for you guys today, uh, while we have this wee break, is uh, what are your favourite cartoons or anime um, that you guys watch? Um, I know, you see, the sad thing is I don't have the time anymore to actually be watching anime or cartoons, which really sucks because, you know, they are awesome. They are absolutely awesome. Um, so, I, you know, I would like to hear what you guys do, do watch when you actually do get a time to chill out. Like... I still haven't even watched like the Pokemon anime in ages, which kind of sucks. Like last time I checked, it was like, yeah, like I, I'm, I'm still like, I, I say 75% through the, um, Ka the Kalos anime, but like, you know, I'm just like, you know, I just don't get time anymore. I just don't have the time, which really sucks. You know, it sucks for a lot of things. But uh, let's battle this dude as well, because we have to be at all the trainers here before we can take on the trainer at the end or at the start. But. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys watch in the comment section down below. Love to hear it. Love to hear what you guys uh, play. Oh, not play. Watch. <laughs> you know. Uh, this, this dude looks like a little bit older. Looks like a, he looks like a guy just recently retired saying, you know, I've done my time. No point me, you know, having, you know, doing any more work. I'm just going to go enjoy a laugh, you know. Um, okay. So, we're not staying in here. Not by a long shot. So, let's switch out into our... Brown Beauty. Uh, let's get Brown Beauty uh, to take on this Rock Ruff. As this thing's set up with the Howl. That Howl's not going to do anything for you, son. Because I'm just going to go straight up for the Bulldoze and knock you out. And this guy, this guy, this pleb is still running Rock Throw. Come on. As the our stamina increases, which is fantastic. I'm expecting this to one shot. And it does. So down goes the Rock Ruff. Fantastic! Saladin as well, again, a bit more XP. What a miss! My performance was absolutely terrible! I'm not gonna lie, man. Kinda sucked! Kinda sucked! Um, okay, so we battle them dudes. Alright, I think we just have to go further south down here. Um, what's over this away? This is new. Oh, wait a minute, that's a Pokemon. Oh, that was the Mon that your man was saying is impossible to catch. That is, that is true. That is very, very true. Trainer tips. Do you know what the stats describing a Pokemon's strengths mean? Okay. Yeah, I, I get it. Special attack, special defense, all that kind of stuff. Oh, thank God they have they put the AT there to ride your Lapras. Thank God. Right, I'm going because I'm, I'm going to explore here. Can we get an item off this? That's fine. Okay, there's nothing there. I thought it was an item. Because that, that can't happen. As we're going to go exploring this wee little island. Oh, item. Item. Thank you. Can I get this? Fish it out. Water stone. That's a nice pickup. Can't fall getting them elemental stones. As we... Oh, we actually do encounter pe uh, mods on the water. It's just not that not that often. And it's... A, oh, it's a... Bog standard tentacruel. Oh, my God. They're still here. The tentacruel are still here. It's ridiculous. All right. Let's run away. Because we, we, we do not match up well against the tentacruel at all. Not one bit. So, let's... Pop up here. Can, can, I, can I pop up here, please? Thank you. As we see, oh my god, look at that. Oh, wait a minute. Do you, do you know, just, do you just realize how they just noticed us and turned around? They were just, wow, wow, wow. That was pretty cool, though. Like, the two of them just training like that. Karate family Samuel and Guy would like to bat. All right, let's do this. Uh, sends out to McChop. Oh, the, the boy had McChops. Okay, we can deal with this. We can deal with this. So we're going to send out... Yeah, Ivy and Beauty. Fantastic. Fantastic. Now, i got to be careful because Beauty's bulldoze is not going to work out for me here. 
So let's go for the let's go for the Ember on the McChop and let's go for the double kick on the McChop as well. So, so let's go for the um let, let's just like double up on a mon. And that is that is nothing. Silent Ivy, you gotta start packing a bit more of a punch, because that is poor. Although to be fair now, Beauty, that was equally as poor. Crotty chop. Alright, we eat that. Come on, Beauty, you got this. What my, my girl, my girl. Um Alright, I'm gonna go for another ember on this make chop. And hold on, what's more powerful? Is it double kick or the stamp more powerful? That's base 65. That's base 30, alright. Stomp is more powerful. So let's go for the stomp on McChop. And we should be we should be good. We should be good. So this thing's gonna go for another karate chop. Ah, it's on our it's on our beauty. Thank god. That makes things a little bit more easier. Uh if we go for the stomp and this McChop should go down, and it does. Down goes that thing. Die! Thank you. Awesome. Um I'm I'm just gonna do the same thing again. Don't see why not. Ember. Uh, stomp. Let's let's do this. Let's do this. Let's see how how much can can we do here? We don't do that much, but we do eat up that karate chop pretty nicely. About time you took a hit, Ivy. About time. It was getting a bit ridiculous. All right, so let's go for the ember on this big chop, and let's go for the stomp on this one as well. Wide right out. Come on, ember. Come. We should finish off this family. Oh, beauty. Can you take it? He can. He can eat it. He eats it. He eats it. Fantastic. As we go for one more stomp. And that, that should be that over. That should be that, yeah, that, that over. Fantastic. Oh, come on, Ivy. Just get a level, please. I keep a smile. Even when my Pokemon, I lose. It reassures my Pokemon. Master. Sorry. Oh, my God. Master. If you're referring to your son as the Master, you got a, you got issues, my son. Anyways. Let's hop on our ride Pokemon again. Let's go see what's around. Um, can we get something? Oh, that's just rocks. That seems that seems to be pretty much it. Is there a mon there? Nope. How do you catch that mon that was just there? That ran away. I'm not too sure. Oh, Zygarde. Thank you. We got another one. Fantastic. And that, that must be the entrance into the next route, is it? What's this place? Route 5, alright, oh, yeah, yeah, that's the entrance to the next route. So, we, you must be the last trainer, so. The reason that Mallow is always looking for the best ingredients in Lush, Lush Jungle is actually because she wants to make Olivia say once and for all that her cooking is the best. <laughs> oh my god, you that, that, that last has got issues. My god, Mallow, you got issues, girl, like serious issues. Alright, we have one trainer back down here who dropped us the challenge to like beat all the other trainers on this route. So I'm going back here. I'm going to go and confront her. I'm going to knock her the hell out. Because, you know, that, that's what that's what I do. That's what I do. You beat all the trainers along Route 8. That looks like it's finally my time to shine. Now let's get this thing started, shall we? Let's do it. I'm not holding back. Oh, wait. This, mod, this guy's got a Z power. Okay, we got this. We got this. We got six mods. I don't care how good this ace trainer is. Eileen. Come on, Eileen. Uh... Right, she brings, oh, she brings up Wingle first. Oh, God, Lord, no. Wingle actually kind of bodies me. Flying electric. No, water. Water flying, sorry. It bodies me. Just a tad. I'm not going to lie. Um, Pray, you got this. Pray, 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 pray. Come on, pray. You got this, my boy. Oh, my girl. <laughs> You're a female. Let's get that schooling going. There we go. Look at that beast. Water pulse. That's going to do nothing. That does Look at that. That does nothing. Pray you're so good. Right. Right. Let's go for the faint attack. This thing goes for air cutter. Oh, we eat that up. I have to say though. Uh, being so slow kind of sucks. It does really suck. Because we... Oh, the quick claw. And that's why we have the quick claw. Because we outspeed. And we knock the swingle out. But it does really suck though being slow. Because that means we slowly be worn down. And uh, our poor um, oh, double slap. What can we get rid of here? Sweet scent. Yeah, absolutely. Because that's useless. But it does kind of suck. It does, to be fair. 
Right, Fearow. Oh my god, he's got a Fearow. This dude's got a Fearow. Alright, okay. Hold on, hold on. Wolfhound. I'm not I'm not doing the Swiss training here. Wolfhound's got this. You're my boy. You're my girl, Wolfhound. You're my girl. You got this. Look at that Fearow. Right, fight. Rock Tomb. Let's go. Let's slow this thing down. Alright, there it is. We can, eat, we can eat that. We can eat that. My god. That did so much and it wasn't even... Like, it was not very effective. But this Fearow should be slow enough now where we can kill it off. So let's hope for the best. No. No, it doesn't. But we, we eat up all the same, so we're fine. Wolfhound, the beast. And we knock out that Fearow. I'm delighted with that. I'm, I'm thrilled a bit because that's a ton of XP. My swelling feelings, they've fallen right to the bottom. Pick up the W, that's all that matters. So what are you going to say now after us beating you? Well, that's the end of me and my Pokemon Z-powered performance. I saw no Z-power right there, lass. You're pathetic. Thanks for taking part in the show. Take this with you as a souvenir. What is it? We get TM, we get Sky Drop. Okay. I'm not going to lie, that's a little bit disappointing because... um. That takes a turn to power up, so I'm like, oh, you know, it's not, it's not that fun. It's not that, it's not that, it's not that great. It's just, it's just not that great, you know. It's really, really poor. But um, I think that's everything on this route, pretty much done, dusted. We have to clear out all the trainers. We have to, you know, we have to investigate a little bit of the, you know, the Poke Haligo, what all that, all that kind of nonsense. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just simply going to heat up my mons. I'm going to hit my mons, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take on Mallow in the next episode. So we'll have quite a bit in the next episode. We'll have a whole trial. Um, and, we'll, yeah, I don't know what happen, what's going to happen after Mallow. I think she's the last captain on this island. So that will mean that we don't have to deal with her uh, you know, anymore. We can just go straight to the Kahuna, Olivia, and knock her out. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, I'm going to wrap, up, wrap it up here today, folks. If you guys liked today's episode, please click the like button down below for me. If you guys have any comments on today's episode, be, be, if be oh my god, I'm horrific uh, in today, with all my pronunciations. But if you've got any, com uh, any comments on today's episode, be it good, bad, or indifferent, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more Pokemon Sun videos coming away on this channel or more Pokemon content in general, please click that subscribe button down below for me. And if you feel this video is worth sharing, please click that share uh, button as well. All your support means the world to me. And on that note, I'm going to get on up out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.